Hello everybody, this is Pun to Frugal Streamer and I have a new video for you. This video is sponsored by Voice Mod, but this video is going to take Voice Mod, something that you normally use to alter your own voice. Instead, we're going to play with it and we're going to have a little fun and show you how you can do things just like this. I kind of wonder if I should just try to prove strength this. Let's try it, see what happens. <laughs> So if you're interested in this, then we're going to show you how you can alter other streamers' voices as well as sound files and that sort of thing using Voice Mod and some other free software. So stay tuned. Okay, so to get this working, you're going to need, of course, Voice Mod. Uh, you know, and there's a couple of versions of voice mod that you can get. You can get the free version uh, that has limited of voices. And, you know, of course, that changes every time you start it up. Or you can get the subscription base or a lifetime license. Uh, both are very cheap, but those give you full functionality of the software, which includes being able to make your own voices, be able to add just some effects to your microphone. But it gives you full uh use of all of the voices they have already made in the software itself okay so the second thing you're going to need is you're going to need voice meter now this comes in a couple iterations i'm using the, the latest version of it which is voice meter potato um, it's a little more uh, advanced has more channels than the second iteration which is voice meter banana and that's the one that most people use and for this that's probably what i would recommend for people um so in Voice Meter Banana, instead of having five hardware input channels, you'll have three. Uh, but the setup is essentially the same. So, in this case, I'm going to use this hardware input channel, hardware input five, for the voice mod. So, what I've done is in Voice Mod, I have gone into the settings. And here I have cable D output. Now, this cable is a virtual audio cable that you can also download from the same people that you download voice meter from. Uh, you get one of these for free. You don't even have to pay for that. So when you go and download the free cable, you would line that up so that voice mod would be the input device under the input device here. So what that does is that then allows you to use Windows to connect the piece of software you want to pull the audio from to that cable and then that cable will then feed it to voice mod so how do you do that well it's pretty easy to do so you go down here to the lower right corner of your windows here click on the speaker go to open sound settings go all the way down to the bottom where it says advanced sound options and you're going to click on app volume and device preferences this is a new, fairly new feature with Windows 10 where you can actually assign a specific output and input to your uh, specific audio app. So for here, Twitch, I have gone to the output here and I've assigned cable D input. Okay, same, same thing I have done here with Groove Music, which is would play an audio file. Okay, so now the cable is feeding audio to voice mod and then all i need to do is choose an output device now here it, with voice meter running if you were to choose the same output device that you're using your headset it's going to give you an error message because it's saying that it's already being used by another device so for voice meter just pick another one of these inputs for me i picked voice meter vaio number three which is this channel right here and then, I could, of course, I could listen to my headset if you want. But where you're actually getting audio from is from Voice Mod's virtual microphone, which you see listed right here. If you click on here, you got the pull down menu, and you want to make sure that you have microphone, Voice Mod, virtual audio device, WDM. Okay, so that is what is actually feeding the uh, audio from Voice Mod to Voice Meter. Okay, and then here, of course, you can also feed it to your headset, do whatever you need to do. Here I have it feeding to my headset and also feeding to an output that I could use on live stream if I wanted to. Okay, so 
that is the way that you would line it up. Pretty simple to do. Nothing really hard. And then obviously you can see I have this attached to the Twitch, Twitch app right now, which I have running. And it's actually watching a live stream and you can see the audio coming in. So that's a great way to check to make sure it works. All right. So now we got Twitch lined up with uh, voice meter and voice mod using the virtual audio cable. We're going to use our boy Necro as a guinea pig here. So let's go ahead and let me bring his volume up and then we'll go ahead and throw a couple of voices and then we can do some ambient effects too if that voice has an ambient effect with it. So we'll okay, go we ahead and let's get him up to volume here. Tough luck, and huh? we will give him the chipmunk Are you voice. tracking it? Oh, okay. We can play it. We'll give him robot. <laughs> What's up, Gramercy? Welcome back, dude. As well as Ban, welcome back, dude. Hello. This one has an ambient effect with it. I'm gonna do a quick meditate here so we can get our swallow back. Likewise, Titan. Oh, hey, uh... You are a very high level. All right, so that's one way that you can kind of play with voice mod using an external source other than your microphone. Another thing that you can do is you can use a media file. Now, what I've done is I have recorded a portion of President Donald Trump's inauguration address, and we can then play that through a media file into voice mod which will then come of course into voice meter where we can then play around with it we could even record it inside of voice meter which i'll show you here in a second we the citizens of america are now let's joined give him a deep voice a great national effort to rebuild our country and restore its promise or maybe this titan or let's give him an evil voice because everybody thinks he's evil anyway. So there you go. It's simple to do. So what we could do here now, I'm outputting this to a one or B one, either one, um, Voice Mirror has built-in recording capability. So simply just right-click. It gives you a UI so that you can record it. You can choose your pre-faders, which is these uh, eight inputs here, your physical inputs or your virtual inputs, or you can do the post-fade, which is your outputs. Okay. So here I've outputted to A1. Um, you can set up the target directory where you want the file saved. You can name it. You can make it a wave. Uh, don't know what BWF is. Anyway, most people are going to use MP3. You can set the bit rate. Uh, here I've got it set to 320K, a sample rate of 48,000 hertz. And then you could do either 1624 bit if you had that available. And then you could choose, you know, however many channels you have. And if you, you know, have 7.1, you can make it in 7.1. Um, and then it's simply just going in and pressing the record button while this is playing. And you record it straight to your hard drive so it's pretty nice all right guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this video uh it's pretty neat what you can do with voice mod even with just watching a live stream such as necros so anyway uh, take it try it i'll provide like i said all the links will be will be down below in the description where you can download all the software you need it's all basically free so it's worth giving it a shot so uh, shout out to Necro for allowing me to use his uh, live stream for this tutorial also. Uh, go check him out at twitch.tv uh, forward slash Necro, also Necro streams on Twitter. Anyway, guys, thank you. This is Pun, the Frugal Streamer. Have a great weekend. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> go ahead and we try our chance here. There we go. Cool. I'll accept that. What's up, Thunderfat? How you doing, bud? Uh... So the only do is doing your voice right now. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I like it, Paul. Uh, uh, that's good. That is okay. good.